Today on Garden Fork, a really fun video about us canning our first batch of rhubarb jam. Here we go. Okay, so while this is cooking down, we're gonna take these mason jars and put them in this boiling water bath to sterilize them. So you wanna do that very carefully. By, uh, you should probably use the right kind of tools. We don't, so we're gonna use tongs. Okay, so we're gonna let those in there, let them boil while this is cooking. So after we made this first canning video, I did a lot more canning and learned a lot more, and I made a how-to canning video to go with that. The link for that is at the end of this video and in the show notes below. So watch this one and then check out our full-blown canning video, all right? In a smaller pan, we're gonna take, these are brand new tops. We're gonna put these in and you just wanna simmer these. You don't want to boil them. So we're cooking this down. This, this is, I think this is nicely cooked. There are some recipes that say don't add any water. I like adding a cup of water. We're simmering. You already added the cup? Yeah, and we, cook, we cooked it down. We're simmering the lids. You don't want to boil them, you just want it to simmer. Um, the cans are boiling, I mean the bottles are boiling, we're sterilizing them. Is it hot? This doesn't need any more sugar. Oh, this is great, this is good. So here's what we're going to do. We need gelatin. You need something to thicken this up to make it kind of like a jelly. Um, so when I also went to the store to buy everything else, I bought some unflavored gelatin as well. And I'm going to put two packs of unflavored gelatin How in here. How smart of you! Yeah, every once in a while I have a brain. <laughs> you know what's going on in your house? So this, you know, it's all an experiment, but I think this will be really cool because we're going to go up to dinner at our friend's house, and um, we could bring them a jar of this. We put it on the ice cream. Are we having ice cream tonight? We could. We could bring some. If we drive 15 miles to go get the ice cream. <laughs> okay, so I've turned the heat off here. Um, this will be the fun part. Henry, are you waiting for the fun part? I'm going to put two packs of gelatin in here. Just right in there? Yeah, yes. Wow. I'm going to stir that in. You need some special tools when you do canning, and one of them is kind of a wide funnel because you don't want to get any food on the lip of the, uh, of the jar, but we don't have one, so I took a regular plastic funnel in. No, it's from the basement. It's brand new. It's brand new. Now this is going to be really nice, so this is going to be exciting. It is exciting. I think some of the tongs that have the rubber stuff on them are better. And, you know, if you buy a canning kit, they have like these jar things that you can, so you can pull the jars out and stuff. So, ooh, that, yeah, that, that's hard to get out. <laughs> Do you need a mitt in case you have to catch it? I don't want to catch this thing. It's hot. Should I move the dogs? You got it? Kind of. Wow. Okay, so we have our jar. That's our funnel. Okay, so we're going to ladle. That jar is really hot, so don't touch the jar. We've added our gelatin in here. And see see how you, you don't want to get food on the rim here, because that's the, where the seal is going to happen. So you take a funnel and you cover that. You want to put this within a half inch of the top. That looks great. Doesn't that look great? So we get our tongs again, and we're going to put a lid on here. For the simmering pot? Right. Now why aren't those supposed to boil? That doesn't make sense. Um, it just is sim- I don't know, it's just what the instruction said, so that's what I'm doing. How unusual. Is it hot? Uh, yeah, that's quite warm. So then we put um, the little cover part. I don't know what this is called. This is the ring. part with the- Ring. The, the ring. That's hot. Just finger tight, okay? This is great. This is really kind of neat. This is... After we fill these, we're going to put them back in the hot water bath and you cook them to cook off any uh, microorganisms that could be bad. And then when you take them out, they're really hot 
So basically the air in there, any air in there has expanded out and then the seal comes, the seal is there and as it cools down the air contracts any air in there and, draw, and sucks the seal in. And then it's sealed and it's really neat. Okay, just finger tight. Yes. That's hot. I was going to say, why are you grabbing it? Because you got to hold it to tighten it. I mean, we don't have all the gizmos that we're supposed to have to do this, but... We don't have the gizmos that the viewers will have. Yes, the viewers will have. But we're going to do a whole episode on canning. Um, I've gotten a, more than more than one email asking about that. So, But this is neat. This is very cool. You, you can do it. You can do it with the simplest of tools. So, Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. These are now full, and I don't have the right tongs. I think you have to get a big mitt. Your hands are your tongs. But anyway, we're going to let this boil for 15 minutes. So you just take them out for that. Don't put them in the fridge, just let them cool. And in 24 hours, then you test the top of the lid. If the lid pushes in and out, then it hasn't made a seal. And you should you can either reprocess it, you can re clean the lid off, put a new seal on, and put it in hot water again, or you can just eat it. Now you can eat it within a week, just put it in the fridge. It's like regular jelly then. So well, wait, I thought you couldn't reuse the lids. You can use the ring, but not the lid. So if the seal isn't right, you have to put a new lid on it and just put the ring back on it. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is neat. This is really, really cool. This is, I just thought canning was going to be a big deal, and it doesn't seem to be. So we could can all sorts of stuff, you know? You made a discovery. I love it. This is our rhubarb, pineapple, strawberry jelly and jam. Sorry, it looks really neat in there. And jelly. And you test test the top of the can. You press this. If it gives, if it presses up and down, that means the seal isn't correct, and you can reseal it, put a new lid on it, and, and you can boil it again. But these are good. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the top on this and see how it tastes. Ooh, neat. That's the sound you want. That's the sound you want to hear. Is it thick? It's kind of thick. It looks, it has like applesauce consistency. Yeah, I'd like it a little thicker. I think for the recipe I'm going to post, I'm going to do this again, but I think I'm going to put four, I'm going to put four packs of the gelatin in instead of two packs. So. That tastes amazing. It just smells like, it smells like um, rhubarb pie innards. <laughs> yeah, the pineapple is a little stronger than I would like. We don't, you could probably even omit the pineapple, but people like pineapple, people like pineapple too. <laughs> this is really fun. So you can do this. I'll put the recipe up. Thank you. Tell your friends. Come to our website, gardenfork.tv, and we'll see you later. Happy summer. Happy summer. That's good. Are you going to give it up finally? Hey, hey. We gotta take it out of the wrap. I, I we gotta unwrap it, okay? <laughs>